Chins are a speciality here. Should you? Rebellion.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. I mean, a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I I'm eager to get to Hogs... A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing... It was wonderful. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade.
It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me the whole time beginning. <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. <laughs>
Are you all right? Uh, uh, You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <laughs> Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir... Why is your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Just 
Steady yourself! their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what's this? Professor Fink! Someone have conjured that enchanted stone here. And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, <we're> here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Green Vaults? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? 
Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you the might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. and try again. A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. 
You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light.
did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. All is in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm... I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm... What is it? In 
is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Better be Hufflepuff! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. 
quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Arthur's yeah. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumours. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? If you don't mind, I'd prefer to just forget about it. Oh dear, it must have been bad. I mean, of course it was. I know I would have been terrified. Sorry. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. When someone says something nice to you, it's only because they want something. Arthur's gone. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first year's caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. The boy was trying to be nice to me the other day. Offered to carry my book. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource.
Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Rebellion. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Patrick Reddy, sir. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here, ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. 
They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about her. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. 
More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise of stone. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast. And Protego. You may begin. Good ball. I know. Lucky. Nothing lucky <laughs> what are you doing up there? Remember the lesson. Let me listen. It's quite effective in combat. Class, I hope you're paying attention. That is how you cast. Let me listen. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. 
Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is just... Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. I sometimes have to remind him. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. 
Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and... Splendid! Don't... Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. That's it! Very good! Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. A 
perfect score. Remarkable. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word you if you would. If you're so. You wanted fine. to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. 
I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where they find pages. Revelio. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Mm-hmm. 
I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. The forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. I think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? 
Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Demi, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Merlin, bloom and beard, not a gem. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. How 
intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. 
But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Uh, you'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Everything. 
I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you alright? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. Um, a moment. Rebellia. Okay. I will see what it is. Lucky they didn't do more. One less 
best thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you Rebellion. be trying, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. 
Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts.
Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing... They were... They're... I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. About the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A professor. F you may be su You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed once isn't as secret as it's believed to be. If only a new student were to help me with. Huh? Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you fancy a mole? As long as we're only the time a week, I can run. Glad you can make it. Look, <laughs> just over there. you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. Hope to see you back here again. Glad you're back. That's it! 
Hudson. Hello. I'm. I'll be dueling so. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies. Duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment for Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. I trust Mr. Brattleby was a I finished. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Good work. There you go. I've set up a few targets for you.
Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait. That man is exasperate. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You... Thank... See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. to cross my path. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Better not be a student in here. The key. Here it is. <sighs> I do hope Peeves isn't up to his ridiculous... Is someone... The light! Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? The key. 
here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern myself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair it. Surprising. I want it already.
This must be the way forward, but to where? <laughs> Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Incendio! Lumos. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. Incendio. It is rather unorthodox to say. Incendio. It's inconceivable. It's a big visitor. Find out. Protego. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Oh, 
And don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the... Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I... defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I wonder why Madame Kagawa didn't become a
she growing pungus onion again? like a warm, dirty blanket. Now for our next task, we'll be planting... Hmm. I wonder if Hip... Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. <laughs> Let's see how to balance... Pardon me, Professor. Italy's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan well. Well done! Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice work in defence against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's... Here we are. Home... Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! Well, will from anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove you... Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plan.
this could prove deep. Professor Fig says I have a wreck. Is that the... I... Good. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? I thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. They must have come this way! Thank you! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... You're not... Put it up as kids! <laughs> I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I see you! Okay, but we can help! Help! Go! Not going anywhere. You will take this! Do not go! Don't fuck! Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a man. And so close to Hogwarts. <clears throat> you Ma? I I I brought a trunk chock full of oh, sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even <laughs> if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. <gasps> See that? The vines disappear. What should I do now? The flames make the pyre sink. I am curious about these pyres. Today, I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? Hmm? And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Someone from the ministry guarding the school. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent.
Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you are... Listen. I simply need... Precision is key when brewing potions. Efficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be... And fast. now we add the mallow sweet and... That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to... Ah! <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an edgerous... I'm sorry. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed.
A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldrin. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book? And the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and... Most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask me. It isn't Dora Treadwell's precious little gun. Admirable trick. Stop switching around like a bennywig! A 
mere innocent. Try to make things will save you. Must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jagdor's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jagdor's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. The Dementals won't harm us now. Still, be careful. Oh, I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. If I had my word, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me. I teach you something little of what you should know at Hogwarts. Sure, we've had a 
dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Why torment me further? No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. What are you trying to say? That the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Field! Field! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault? In some ruins? Near Upper Hogsfield? I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look! Can't hurt to look! Go find the pages from your book! Helen! Helen! Know you're here! Coming closer, be a deer. What is it, Anne? You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But Madame Thistlewood, I... Oh, all right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. I should investigate. This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. Now with me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? 
A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. Why didn't you exonerate her? What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Thank you. I need to find those pages, to help a friend. I shall see you there. Who lived here, I wonder? To take care. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Here I am, as good as my word.
Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. <laughs> Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Ha! There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. I wonder how big this place is. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this.
thing Jack Doe didn't fall down there. wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Is the bridge? It's almost complete. More spiders. This can't be what the head of the do.
these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages we meet again Richard Jackdaw thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years here it is the map that brought your doom Jackdaw hmm is there something beyond this room Starting to flood? How am I 
being protected. What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. 